Hello students, welcome to our YouTube channel Experience Tutor. Today we will discuss class 12th physics, get more than 95% marks. Chapter is Electromagnetic Induction. Chapter 6, NCERT line by line, part 2. Before we begin, our class please subscribe like and share our channel if you have not done yet please like and share our videos among your friends and relatives so that they can also get benefited from this please click on the bell icon to get automatic notification whenever a new video is uploaded by us so that you will not miss any of the important videos Let us begin today's lesson. Today we'll start with 6.5 Lane's Law and Conservation of Energy. In 1834, German scientist, German physicist Henrik Frederick Lenz deduced a rule known as Lenz's Law. Which gives, the pri which gives the polarity of the induced EMF in a clear and concise fashion. The statement of the law is, the polarity of induced EMF is such that it tends to produce a current which opposes the change in magnetic flux that produces it. So, you can remember this rule by a simple concept, by a simple phrase, child opposes father. So, how can we relate this phrase to this rule? So, let us go through the, this law again. The polarity of induced EMF is such that it tends to produce a current. So, a, a current is produced which opposes, that means the current opposes the change in magnetic flux. Actually, the current is produced due to the change in magnetic flux, but the current opposes the change in magnetic flux. Current itself opposes the magnetic flux, change in magnetic flux. Now, the negative sign shows in equation 6.3 represents this, this effect. So, here let us go through the equation 6.3. So, here is the equation 6.3 that is E is equal to minus phi d phi, d phi by dt. So, they are talking about this negative sign. This is this is from Lenz's law. We can understand Lenz's law by examining experiment 6.1 in section 6.2.1. In figure 6.1, let us go through the figure 6.1. So, here is the figure 6.1. So, what was the figure? That there was a coil C1, a magnet, bar magnet with initially a north pole is facing towards the coil, is moved towards the coil and as soon as it moves towards the coil, we see a deflection in the galvanometer G, uh, pointer of the galvanometer G which is attached to the coil C1. That means some current is EMF is induced and therefore uh, current flows in the circuit. The current flows in the circuit until the bar magnet is in motion. As soon as the bar magnet is in uh, rest, the current stop flowing. Similarly, if we move the south pole, we will see the similar effect but 
the pointer will give the opposite sign than that of the north pole so this was figure 6.1 now let us see how lens law is related to this so in figure 6.1 we have just seen the figure we see the north pole of the bar magnet is being pushed towards the closed coil as the north pole of the bar magnet moves towards the coil magnetic flux through the coil increases hence the current induced in the coil is in such a direction that opposes the increase in magnetic flux so it opposes so induced hence the current is induced in the coil in such a direction that it opposes the increase in flux this is possible only if the current in the coil is in the counterclockwise direction with respect to the observer situated on the side of the magnet note that the magnetic moment associated with the current has north polarity towards the north pole of approaching magnet similarly if the north pole of the magnet is being withdrawn from the coil the magnetic flux through the coil will decrease to counter this decrease in magnetic flux the induced current will flow in a, in clockwise direction and its south pole fa faces the residing north pole of the bar magnet this would result in an attractive force which opposes the motion of the magnet and the corresponding decrease in flux so in summary we 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 can say that uh, in the example experiment 6.1 when we move the north pole of the magnet towards the coil a current is induced uh, in the coil in the closed loop coil and in such a direction where it opposes the change in magnetic flux in the coil so uh, similarly if we draw uh, uh, the north pole from away from the uh, the coil uh, a similar type of uh, uh, current uh, an induced current is again a current is again induced in the circuit closed circuit and it will oppose the change in magnetic flux change in magnetic flux of the coil so that's it from this paragraph what will happen if it open circuit so one more thing they have told that uh, they they have considered that when north pole is moving towards the coil it is uh, it is uh, the magnetic flux is increasing and its polarity is north polarity and the current flows the induced current a current is induced in the uh, circuit and it flows in in such a direction that it opposes the increase in magnetic flux on the other hand when the uh, mag magnet is uh, north pole is moving away from the coil it is south polarity and the magnetic flux decreases and uh, uh, again this time also the uh, uh, current is induced in the coil and it opposes the decrease in magnetic flux change in or decrease in magnetic flux so that's it for this paragraph now what will happen if an open circuit is used to in place of closed loop in the above example in this case too an emf is induced across the open open end of the circuit the direction of the induced emf can be found using lenz law consider figure 6.6 a and b they provide an easier way to understand the direction is 
of induced current. Note that the direction this shown by this and this indicate the direction of the induced current. So let us see here 6.6 A, uh, A and B. So when north pole is moving, north pole is moving towards the coil, then what then the direction of the induced current is in this way as one is in the figure so this is the dire direction in this direction now when north pole is moving away from the coil the di direction of the current is opposite to that of this so this is the clockwise this one is clockwise and this one is this is anti clockwise anti clockwise and this one is clockwise and this one is clockwise so this one anti clockwise this is clockwise here the direction of the current is this here the direction of the current is this a little reflection on this matter would con convince us on the correctness of Lenz law. Suppose that the induced current was in the direction of opposite to the to the one depicted in figure 6.6a. In that case, the south pole due to the induced current will face the approaching north pole of the magnet. The mar the bar magnet will then attract towards the coil so so let us uh, see till here we have discussed about the direction of the current induced current in the coil now a little reflection on this matter should convince us on the correctness of lenz law suppose that the induced current was in the direction opposite to that of of the one depicted in figure 6.6a say we have considered that if uh, we have considered that if it is opposite of uh, whatever is given in this figure then what happened in that case the south pole due to the induced current will face the approaching north pole of the magnet so the bar magnet will then be attracted towards the coil at an ever increasing acceleration the gentle push on the magnet will initiate the process of its velocity and kinetic energy will continuously increase without expanding any energy if this can happen one could construct a pre perpetual perpetual motion mechanical machine by a suitable arrangement this violates the law of conservation of energy and hence this cannot happen uh, so if we say if we uh, if we uh, if the direction of uh, of in the first case is not this just opposite of this then what would happen then uh, the bar magnet will attract towards the coil and, uh, and in that case uh, the kinetic energy of the bar magnet will increase without increasing any other energy and this violates the law of conservation of energy so this is not possible so till here we have proved that uh, if the direction of the current is opposite then what what would have the case now now consider the correct case 
shown in figure 6.6 a in this situation the bar magnet experience a repulsive force due to so it experience a repulsive force due to the induced current therefore a person has to do work in moving the magnet so person has to invest the physical energy in moving the magnet where does the energy spent by the person co this energy is dissipated by joules heat heating produced by the in induced current so this energy is converted into uh, heat uh, by joules heating effect so uh, here the, the total energy of the system is constant so uh, there is no violation of conservation of law of conservation of energy physical energy changes to heat energy while producing the electric induced current now exam let us see few of the examples example 6.4 figure 6.7 shows planar loop of different shapes moving out of or into a region of a magnetic field which is directed normal to the plane of the loop away from the reader determine the direction of induced current in each loop using lenz law so again let us go through the question in this figure as shown here figure 6.7 shows planar loop of different shapes moving out of or into a region of magnetic field which is directed normal to the plane of the loop away from the reader determine the direction of induced current in each loop using lenz law now the magnetic flux through the rectangular loop a b c d increases so magnetic flux through the rectangular loop a b c d increases due to the motion of the loop into the region of the magnetic field the induced current must flow along the path b c d a b b c so induced current will flow in this path b c d a b so that it opposes the increase increasing flux so that it opposes the increasing flux so again let us go through the solution the magnetic flux through the rectangular loop a b c d increases why it increases due to the motion of the loop into the region of the magnetic field so you see this rectangular loop is moving towards the magnetic field so the mag so the magnetic flux increases magnetic flux increases so the induced current magnetic flux increases therefore the induced current will flow from from bc bc d a b path in this path in this path it will flow so that it can oppose the increase increasing flux now 
due to a b uh, second due to the outward motion the magnetic flux through the triangular loop decreases so let us check the triangular loop so triangular loop is directed away from the magnetic field so its magnetic flux will decrease its magnetic flux will decrease magnetic flux through the triangular loop abc decreases due to which the induced current flows along b a c b b a so in which direction b a b a c c b b a c b b a c b in this direction it flows so that it can oppose the change in magnetic flux in the third case that is third case here a magnetic flux decreases due to so again this is moving to away from the magnetic field again so magnetic flux decreases due to the motion of irregular shape shaped loop a b c d is out of the region of the magnetic field the induced current flows along c d a b c c d so this way a b c in this way it will flow the induced current will flow so that so that it can oppose the decrease in magnetic flux or change in magnetic flux so this is all about this example now let us move to another example example 6.5 a a closed loop is held stationary in magnetic field between the north and south poles of two permanent magnets held fixed can we hope to generate current in a loop by using very strong magnets this is the question let us see the solution no however strong magnet may be no first of all first answer is no so reason is however strong magnet may be current can be induced only by changing the magnetic flux through the loop and in our case there is no change in magnetic flux therefore no induced current uh, uh, no change in magnetic flux therefore no current is induced Question number B. So this is done. Question number B. A closed loop move moves normal to the constant electric field between the plates of a large capacitor. Is the current induced in the loop? One. When it is wholly inside the region between the capacitor plates. Two. When it is partially outside the plate of the capacitor. The electric field is normal to the plane of the loop so let us see no the current answer is no current is induced in either case current can not be induced so no current is induced in either of the case current is not current cannot be induced by changing the magnetic flux so current cannot be induced by changing the magnetic flux uh, sorry current cannot be induced by changing the electric flux current cannot be cannot be induced by changing the in electric flux current can only be induced by changing the magnetic flux and in our case 
it is changing the electric flux so no current will change used so c a rectangular loop and a circular loop are moving out of a uniform magnetic region figure 6.8 to a free field free region with a constant velocity v in which loop do you expect the induced emf to be constant during the passage out of the field region the field is normal in the loops so let us see the figure and try to understand the question so this is the figure so it bo in both the case one uh, rectangular and a circular loop is moving away from the field with a circular with a velocity v the induced emf is expected to be constant only in the case of the rectangular loop in this case in the in the case of circular loop so it will be constant in re rectangular loop in the case of circular loop the rate of change of area of the loop during the, its passage out of the field region is not constant hence induced emf will vary accordingly so for circular loop it is not constant why the rate of change of area of the loop during its passage away of the field region is not constant so uh, rate of change of area for the circular loop is not constant so uh, here also the the induced emf is not constant it is varying so induced emf is varying let us see the question number d predict the polarity of the capacitor in the situation described by figure 6.9 so the polarity of plate a will be positive with respect to the plate b in the capacitor now let us see the section 6.6 .6, motional electromotive force so the next topic 6.6 .6, motional electromotive force will do it in the next class so let us do a revision what we have done recap what we have done today so today we have started with lens law and conservation of energy so we have derived uh, we have discussed what is lens law and we have seen few of the experiments for uh, to find out uh, to understand the direction of lens law and we have solved few of the examples which were related to lens law for various conditions now in the next class we will uh, go through the motional electromotive force before we close our session today we request you to subscribe our channel if you have not done yet please like and share our videos so that this channel can grow and this channel can produce can produce much better content and much more and more videos for you please click on the bell icon so that you can get automatic notification whenever a new video is uploaded by us and in this way you will not miss a single important video thank you very much for your support keep watching thank you